what is going on guys Ralph from the winsetter.com and i am here with it. an interesting tutorial as always so in this video i'll talk about how to make your pc linux ready so without further ado let's just uh, dive into it shall we so uh, so basically there are two ways uh, to do that uh, there's one is uh, the easy way and the other is uh, the hard way so I'm going to uh, show you the easy way first so to do that uh, to you know to enable uh, to make your PC, PC uh, Linux ready uh, you have easy way and you have a hard way so let us first talk about the easy way so you know in order to make your pc linux ready you need to go to the control panel first so i type here i type uh, on windows search i type uh, control panel here and i open it and i go to programs from here i need to click on this uh, turn windows switches on or off i click on it and i have a window so let me see what it offers okay so i have a list um, of features so i need to go to the uh, bottom of the list so i go to the bottom of the list and there you see you have our folder you have a um, you know a folder or file on something like that so you have windows subsystem for linux uh, you can call it a file you can call it a feature or anything else it's a feature so yeah uh, windows subsystem for linux you need to check this box so i have already you know configured my uh, my pc to you know to 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 run linux so uh, i did it but uh, if you didn't configure your pc you'll uh, have your uh, you'll have this box unchecked uh, unmarked so you need to check this uh, you know box so you need to mark it and when you do that you need to uh, press ok you need to click on ok and you're all done so it will uh, do the necessary thing and oh guys uh, another thing so basically in order to do that you know you need to you need to have a valid internet connection so basically what it does is you know it looks for files and it automatically downloads in the background so basically when you uh, go to here and uh, check for and check this uh, windows sub subsystem for linux it automatically look uh, for necessary files and uh, you know it, it, it downloads them uh, in the background so you need to have a valid internet connection to successfully uh, to successfully perform this task so uh, uh, after you do that there will be a window asking you to restart your pc so you need to restart your pc and then when you come back you need to uh, download uh, the uh, the you know the the linux uh, distribution that you want to install on your pc so uh, you can uh, install uh, like ubuntu you can install uh, like uh, uh, kali linux and uh, all that good stuff so you need to go to the windows store and you will have a plethora of uh, of linux distribution so uh, that is the easy way guys and the and now now we'll uh, talk about the hard way i mean it's not that hard but uh, it involves uh, like uh, some advanced stuff it is it, 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 it is uh, uh, it, it involves powershell so um, let us now uh, talk about the the hard way so let us go to the powershell now so i type powershell here okay i need to run this as an administrator so i run i click on run as administrator i click on it all right so i have this uh, sort of powershell ui here and guys i need to type this command uh, enable windows optional feature online blah 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 so you know uh, things are case sensitive here so wherever it is uh, written uh, in capital you need to type this as capital and wherever it is written in small you need to use the small letter so uh, keep that in mind and uh, if you're not um, i mean to make things more easier for you i'll uh, just pronounce it for you so you need to uh, type enable 
uh, minus uh, or oh, what it is minus or hydrogen I think they both are the same so yeah whatever I hope you get the point so enable you need to enable hyphen windows optional feature uh, space hyphen again online space again uh, hyphen feature name space Microsoft hyphen Windows hyphen subsystem hyphen and again hyphen Linux so that is the command you need to uh, type on here on the PowerShell and uh, after you do that after you type all this and uh, you need to press enter and uh, now you don't have to do anything you just uh, uh, just let your PC do its job so when the job is done when the job is completed you need to I mean you'll have a prompt you'll have a window asking you to you know restart your PC so you need to do the restart and uh, when you come back when you come back you need to uh, install uh, the Linux distribution of your choice you need to you can go for Kali Linux you can go for Ubuntu uh, you can go like uh, there are a lot of lots and lots of uh, Linux distribution available on Microsoft Store so uh, do that do the installation and uh, when you complete uh, when the installation is completed you need to you know you need to do this you need to go to here so I have Ubuntu installed on my PC so I'll open Ubuntu I'll open Ubuntu and I open the app so let me open it so I open it and see I have this UI because I have I, I already have uh, like uh, I, I have installed um, Ubuntu on my PC a few days back so you know I have this uh, UI now and I'm ready to go but when you first install um, Linux on your Windows 10 PC, you'll not have this UI when you uh, launch this app. So, you know, when you launch this app uh, for the first time, you'll have, uh, you know, this terminal, you'll have this terminal, but it will install for you first. So it will install the all the components that you've just uh, done previously. So it will install it and then you'll be ready to go. And I... I just can't remember the time I mean how much time it took uh, to install all this stuff but yeah I think it uh, takes um, like uh, 10 to 15 minutes maybe uh, depending on your configuration of your PC so um, that is uh, these are the way to install uh, Linux on your Windows 10 PC and as you can see here you can uh, run a terminal natively on your Windows 10 PC so there's no uh, there's no need to you know virtually install uh, like you know run run Linux on on a VM so there's absolutely no need if you are only uh, dependent on Linux terminal so there's no need to uh, install another VM and then uh, uh, you know uh, install an, another like another dis Linux distribution like a Ubuntu or Linux so you can do that uh, on uh, just by installing an app on, from Microsoft Store so that is it for this video guys and that's all I have for this video and if you like the video do hit the like button and uh, do sub subscribe to this channel for more cool information more cool videos uh, and more cool tutorials so on this I'd call it a wrap and I shall see you in the next one bye bye and take care